I played a ranger in the last D&D campaign I was in. While preparing the backstory of my character, I fell in love with the ranger class and have had a soft spot for rangers since then. When I saw this book had fantasy rangers, I was immediately sold. And this book didn't disappoint. The story is set in a world of three colonies surrounded by a sprawling forest called the Titan Wilds that is home to dangerous animals and spirit beings wreaking havoc near on nearby towns and villages. Our protagonist Lean is a Baltasian ranger who protects the Baltasian borders from these creatures. Lean has a good heart but is hot-headed and harbors deep hatred for the ghasts, the original natives of these lands who were displaced by the colonizers. Lean lives a good life in the company of her fellow rangers until one day tragedy strikes. After an act of treachery leaves her as the only survivor, Lean must do everything in her power to get revenge on those who killed her found family. That means using the power she had been cursed with at birth. Lean was not an easy character to follow. She had deep-seated hatred for the natives of the land called Ghasts. Her racist thoughts and views were difficult for me to experience and although we see her grow and change throughout the book, it didn't make the beginning of the book a smoother experience, which is meant to be like that. The book is brutal to our characters as well as to us. It's a harsh world that they live in and you are continuously reminded of that fact. Although there are other characters we follow along with, Lean, this is mainly Lean's book. Lean is brash, unapologetic, loyal, stubborn and will do anything for her friends. She is deeply flawed, prejudiced and self-loathing but that changes as she experiences things that she never even imagined she would. The author doesn't hold your hand throughout the world building. You are dropped into this world and have to figure out how this world is set up and what do these terms mean. There is a glossary at the end of the book that explains these things but I didn't use it while I, while reading because I was scared of accidentally getting spoiled. The world in this book is vast with a rich and complex history. The political structure reminded me of the Americas and how the continents were colonized by European countries. The magic and the creatures spawned from this magic was vividly imaginative. Dean's ignorance about her magia meant that we were discovering the scope and limitations of the magic alongside her. The only weakness I felt was the plot. At times, I felt the plot floundered a bit. It was not tightly knit and went places that didn't feel satisfactory to me. It was not a strong enough character drama to get away with the weak plot. It is mainly a story about a woman coming to terms with herself, but that wasn't enough to carry the story forward on its own. This book is one of the most compulsively readable books that I've read this year. The way the book is structured with the different parts and the flashback chapter before each part made me want to keep reading it. This book shows great promise and I can't wait to see where Lean goes from here. The next book promises richer world building and political intrigue in the world of Onera. I highly recommend this book to people who like nature based magic and complex world building. This book is for people who like their characters to start off as unlikable and undergo change as the story progresses. Finally, I recommend it to people who have a soft spot for fantasy rangers. Thank you so much for watching this video. Subscribe, subscribe if you want fun bookish content like this one. And thank you to Escapist Book Company for giving me a chance to talk about this book. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.